guys welcome back to my channel today's video I am hoping will be really informational for those of you who are cosmetologists estheticians makeup artists or if you're looking to get into any of those fields this video I'm hoping will help you guys out because I want to let you know about professional discounts that are available through pro artist programs with prestigious brands. So if you're kind of like, what the heck is she talking about right now? Uh, basically, I just want to let you guys know how you might be able to get discounts with uh, high-end cosmetic brands. So like MAC, Smashbox, Benefit, Tarte. Brands like that, if you want to attempt to get a discount with, this is the video. I'm going to try to help you guys out. <laughs> now, I don't want you guys to think that this video is coming off like how to like cheat and get into a pro artist program, how to, you know, like swindle your way in. You need to be serious about applying to a professional cosmetic brand's pro program because not only are you representing yourself, you're representing your work, and if you don't make a living off of doing makeup on the side. I'm not saying you have to make a ton of money, but if you don't do makeup, you know, here and there, I'm not going to give like a specific, you know, time lapse, um, then, you know, don't try to do it. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing this video to help people who are serious about makeup artistry and who want to save money basically to build their kit or to help build their kit. I'm also doing this for people who may have a fully functional awesome kit but never knew that they could get discounts on high-end cosmetics before. So just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there. Uh, yes, if you're watching and you want a pro discount with a brand, be serious about it and uh, you know, don't try to like don't try to jip it. So basically pro discounts are programs that cosmetic uh, brands set up for professional makeup artists or for professional cosmetologists, uh, for estheticians, people like that who make a living off of cosmetics basically. So uh, this was not a very popular thing a uh, long, I, mean, I wouldn't say a long time ago, but probably like it's really developed within the past, I would say, four years. But back when I first started getting into freelance artistry, not every single cosmetic brand had a pro program. Now, if you search a cosmetic brand and then pro discount or pro program, 90% of the time you will find uh, a website or a link to it. Most brands do have a pro program now, which is really great for people who are serious about, you know, doing makeup professionally. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys some tips. If you're clueless and you, you know, you have no idea where to start with applying for these programs, uh, that's what I want to start out with. And then I want to talk about if you don't, if you feel like, you know, you are eligible for the pro program, but you don't exactly have all of your credentials yet, I'll give you guys some advice on what you can do to, you know, get credentials and to get proof that you are doing freelance makeup artistry or that you make a living off of makeup. So I want to start out with how I was able to receive pro discounts and how I applied to these different programs. I've been receiving pro discounts for probably the past three to three and a half years. So this was, I applied back when I was still in college and when I was doing freelance gigs pretty much every Saturday when I was out of school, I was going to do bridal makeup or some type of makeup for it was mostly bridal. A bridal was definitely my specialty and I still do bridal. I don't do it as much as what I used to. Uh, but basically that was my whole situation when I started applying for these uh, different, you know, pro programs. And I will say that I was very fortunate and I lucked out because I was doing makeup for a professional magazine and also for uh, a professional jewelry company. And I had still do makeup for those people so I had uh, actual magazine covers with models on them that I had done makeup for and I uh, did makeup for Lenny and Eva. You guys, a lot of you guys know that. Some of you guys may not. Uh, anytime you see a Lenny and Eva model or anytime you see them, you know, in a store, I did makeup for 
those models. So I was really fortunate enough to where I had that as my proof that I was doing professional makeup. I really didn't have to worry about, you know, going out and finding people that I, didn't make, I had done makeup for, for weddings uh, and things like that. I had those credentials, those tear sheets right off the bat and that's how I was able and that's how I'm still able to receive pro discounts. I want to talk about how pro programs work because I feel like that's important to know before we get into what you guys can do to actually uh, apply and be accepted for these successfully. So I'm going to give you guys an example of how a pro program works. And my best example is um, NARS Pro Program. Their program is probably one of the hardest programs that I have ever applied to. And um, I was accepted for their highest discount. And I was actually kind of shocked when I was. Uh, but basically, a lot of pro programs will have different categories and different discounts that you can apply for. I've never seen a discount over 40%. Uh, I just don't think brands are going to be willing to give you 50% off their cosmetics. There may be some out there, but not that I've stumbled upon uh, recently. So basically, they're going to have different categories. Not all brands. Some brands just have one specific discount that you can apply for and that is it. If you don't make the cut, then sorry. But most brands will have different categories you can choose from. So I'm going to use NARS as an example. NARS has a 25% discount, uh, which is their lowest discount, and that is available for students. That is available for people who are in cosmetology school, um, esthetician school. If you are in any type of uh, makeup artist academy or uh, if you're getting like your makeup artist certification, uh, you basically just send in those types of credentials your student ID, uh, your certificate, your uh, letter of recommendation from your teacher or, or whoever is administering this um, type of thing. I'm talking very strangely about these things because I never went to cosmetology school so I don't exactly know how uh, that whole thing works. But basically that is generally any type of pro discount that's going to be the lowest um, discount and that's going to be what you have to provide in order to get that discount. So next is a 30% discount and again I'm speaking in terms of NARS. This isn't for every single website but it's going to give you an, a good idea on how a lot of them work. Uh, I know on NARS website the 30% category is specifically for uh, licensed cosmetologists, estheticians, business owners, and there's a few other types of categories you can uh, be accepted for. So if you are a cosmetologist, if you have your cosmetology license and it's valid, if you have an esthetician license and it's valid, or if you have a business license and it's valid, you can send, you have to send two in. So now this is where it starts getting a little bit harder because you have to provide two forms of proof, not just, you know, a student ID and then you get your discount. You have to provide two of those, um, you know, categories and then you should get accepted. So, you know, let's just say that maybe you have your business license because some people, some makeup artists have their business license um, and you have your cosmetology license. So you send that in, you would be accepted. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm not a licensed cosmetologist. I'm not a licensed esthetician. I don't have a business license. And yet, I was still accepted for the next category up, which is 40% off. Now, this category NARS has specifically labeled for, uh, it's for professional makeup artists and then also for actors, models, people who are in front of the camera. So, if you're a model, if you model for an agency or if you're a part of a union, anything like that, you can send that type of information in for the 40% and you should, I mean, guarantee get it. Uh, so the way that I was able to be accepted for the 40% discount was that they accept tear sheets. So that's where I really uh, was able to, you know, come in strong and get that 40% is I had a tear sheet from uh, the magazine that I do makeup for. And I think I also included, you know, the professional photos of the Lenny and Eva models that I had done makeup for. So basically, you're going to need to provide either tear sheets, cover photos. If you are a model, uh, you're going to need to, you know, provide some type of proof that you are with an agency, uh, a contract, 
uh, you're gonna have to provide that you may be with a union uh, so that one is definitely a stronger category but you can do it and you can get the discount with it. Um, you just need to figure out what the um, best way for you to send in your credentials would be or what your uh, best credentials would actually be. So that's generally how a pro program will work. Like I said, some are different. Some programs have one discount. You just apply for it and you hope for the best. Uh, some pro discounts are super easy to attain. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Mac, I feel like has the easiest pro program that a person could possibly set up. Now it's really important to know that also some pro programs require you to pay a yearly fee. It's normally not over $50. Max is $35 a year. That is totally totally acceptable in my opinion because if you are really you know using cosmetics for your professional kit $35 is going to pay for itself with your first order um i mean i that's why i use so much mac is that with the 40% discount that you receive it's like buying drugstore makeup and now drugstore makeup is so expensive that it's like buying cheaper makeup than drugstore makeup so i do have a lot of mac cosmetics a because their quality is great but b because it's so affordable for me to include that in my kit and it's so affordable for me to have you know such a large uh, variety of shade selections because you know foundations are only like i want to say 12 bucks generally about the average with mac um and also if you are, you know, starting out in especially bridal makeup artistry, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, makeup artists like to provide their brides with a uh, touch-up kit. So if they're not paying you to stay there with them the, the entire day, a lot of uh, makeup artists include a touch-up kit that has like a touch-up powder in it, the lipstick you used on them, the lip gloss, and uh, maybe a couple other things. But uh, so yeah, that, that really helps when you get 40% off that stuff. So um, that's a little spill on that. Okay, so let's move into how you guys can get discounts if you feel like your credentials aren't as strong as they should be. And this is where I'm coming in with like, in all seriousness, you have to want to, you know, build your credentials. You have to, I mean, you have to have a plane to where you've started at. You can't just be sitting here watching this video and be like, oh, well, I've done makeup for my friends before. Let me see if I can apply. You know, I'm sure people have gotten through the system like that, but you need to be the type of person that's watching this right now and you need to be serious about applying because you have to have credentials even for the easiest programs. Okay, so let's say, you know, you don't really know where to start. My first recommendation would be to include a cover letter. And that's just, I feel like that's just a formal way of letting a brand know um, about yourself, what you do. It's just a professional thing to include. It, it, I want to say it adds a little bit of charm to your packet that you're sending in and basically that's just entails any when I was sending in to you know brands three years ago what I did was I included a cover letter I let them know about myself I let them know you know maybe some achievements that I'd, I had done um, some people that I had worked for that actually you know had um, credentials themselves it's really good to also include if you have a specialty. So my specialty is definitely bridal makeup artistry. So, uh, you know, I, I remember I said something like, you know, I've been providing bridal makeup artistry throughout the Upper Cumberland for the past uh, three years. I can't remember how many time, how many years I had been doing it at that time, but something along those lines is what I included. So that's the first step for me to start building your um, packet for your pro discount. The second step is basically the goods. So you're going to need to include, if you do not have tear sheets, if you do not have, you know, your cosmetology license, you don't have a business license, if you don't have all of that major stuff, professional photos will be your best bet and if you do not have a portfolio of your professional photos if you know like if you have just started out and you haven't you know gathered up a portfolio yet you really need to contact people that you have done makeup for in the past that have professional photos obviously if someone's paying you to do their makeup they're probably doing it for a special reason and there's probably going to be a photographer involved so you need to contact those people and uh, 
you know, just ask them if they would care to send you uh, a digital image of, you know, their wedding day or particularly the bride. You would, you want like the bride's makeup so the people or the brands can see that, hey, you did this person's makeup. And that brings me to another point. Your professional photos are not going to have your name on them. And that's what the brands really want to see. They want to see that your name is stamped on all of these credentials. So since the professional photos aren't going to have your name, you need to also request a letter of reference. So a letter of reference can be from your clients, they can be from photographers, videographers, they can be from business owners, uh, people that you are just affiliated with that you have done makeup for or that you have done business with in the past. And that way when, uh, for example, if you're sending into NARS, that way if they want to look up this person, they can see, you know, they do, hey, this is a photographer, they actually do, you know, wedding photography. <laughs> Another thing that's really good to include would be a business card. So again, if you don't have a cosmetology license, but you're still out there, you know, on the grind doing makeup, uh, you need to provide a business card. And if you don't have business cards, get your freaking butt over to Vistaprint, make a set of 150 business cards for 19 bucks, and have business cards. I mean, you as a makeup artist, you need to have business cards in general to give out to people. You need to be promoting yourself. So you definitely want to have or include a business card as well. Lastly, it's also really good to include uh, website information. A lot of pro programs want to see that you have a dedicated website to your business. So basically, again, if you don't have a website set up yet, it's $10 a month on GoDaddy to buy a donate, domain name. Uh, and I think it's like $10 for the entire year to keep it. So, you know, set up a domain name. You could probably even go through WordPress Press or blogger and as long as your website has you know an about me section and lets them know that you were doing makeup you're a professional makeup artist um, and then also it would be really great to have a portfolio on there you need some type of photos of makeup that you've done let's get real you can't just set up a freaking blog and then be like I do makeup accept me. You need to have your portfolio or at least a few pictures on your website showing that you do makeup. I also want to touch on things that will not get you into a pro program. Your Instagram account, your Twitter, your blog in general, your personal blog, um, your Facebook page, and a lot of brands even say like in parentheses, do not send us your Instagram account. Do not send us your uh, Twitter account. They don't care how many followers you have. They don't care if you're an online influencer. At this point, they want people who are serious about doing makeup. They want people that are buying their cosmetics to represent them as well. Because when, you know, let's just say someone's out there doing makeup and they're using all of Max products or NARS products and it ends up looking like trash, you know, I'm not going to say that totally ruins the company, but the companies want people who are serious and they want people to use these products to their benefit, the brand's benefit. So sorry, unless your Instagram account is for your professional makeup artistry business, I don't think it's going to count for anything. All right, guys, I think that is all of the information I can provide. I know it's a little nerve wracking in the beginning to send out packets to all of these different brands. I remember going to the post office and I had a stack of my packets that were probably this thick and I was sending them out and uh, I was just like, just I was going to be grateful if just one brand accepted me. And then um, there's only been... I was thinking if I was going to talk about this or not, but I, I guess I should since it's part of the whole process. You could possibly get rejected. There's only one brand that did not accept me, and um, the whole situation just honestly irritates me. If you want to stay around for a small rant, then just keep watching. But basically, um, I'm not going to name the brand because I, I like their cosmetics, but it uh, just irritated me how they ran their pro program. I had all of my credentials. Um, I had my tear sheets, my business cards, my um, and my uh, cover letter. And they emailed me back and they said, um, we really need a letter of reference for your application. And I was like, I had everything you asked for and you're asking me to send you a letter that I could just forge myself? 
what? So I ended up getting a letter of reference from uh, the professional photographers that I worked with the most and I sent that to the brand and they emailed me back and they said, oh, we, uh, they said we threw away or we lost all of your other information. You're going to have to resubmit all of your info to us. So not only was I going to have to pay like eight or nine bucks to resend a professional packet to them again, I was going to have to remake my whole packet for them and then still worry if they were going to come up with another excuse not to accept me. So um, there's only been one brand that uh, did not accept me and um, that that's been it. Every single other brand that I get uh, discounts with, they accepted me. So uh, just keep in mind, I do not have a you know professional cosmetology license. I never went to a makeup academy. I don't have an esthetician license and I was still able to prove myself to these brands. So um, just you know if at first you don't succeed try again. Uh, if you're very serious and you're really serious about your business you know it will show through and you will eventually get your uh, discount. Um, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you guys out if you are interested in this type of thing. And if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I would be happy to answer any questions I didn't cover. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.